It's your boy GG Swift Gamer here, and welcome back to another awesome video here on my channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you a solo money glitch in today's video, but unfortunately, you do need custom players, so make sure you got them at hand. But anyway, guys, don't forget, guys, smash that like button, subscribe if you are brand new to our community, and also hit that little bell next to my name so you don't miss out on any awesome content just like this here on my channel but yeah this video has took the whole of saturday to edit up literally everything in today's video has been edited up literally to the point that you will not fail at today's video if you do fail at today's glitch then unfortunately no one on youtube will be able to help you out will be will, with today's glitch literally because this glitch or this video will literally help you out with all the steps you need and everything else that you do really need in today's video now this video deserves a big thumbs up if you do actually say so literally guys and if this video doesn't receive a thumbs up then maybe you guys just don't like the fact that it is a money glitch but yeah literally this video is informative and in a couple of seconds you will see four videos in one literally guys so you better get ready because everything is going to get set up how it is so let's get to this video right now so let's actually get to it so as you probably will see in a couple of minutes you will get four screens and i will follow you everything by step by step so the top right now top left hand corner video one you will need a facility the facility needs to be full of vehicles that you don't care about so L like elegy retro customs or elegy rh8s or any vehicle that you don't care about it doesn't matter what the vehicle is just make sure that you've got vehicles in there that you don't care about once the facility is full then we're all good to go now let's go over to video two now on video two you need to make sure that you've got an avenger or the mobile operation center of the sky now you need to make sure you've got that that is more important that you've got that vehicle now if you haven't got the avenger that is going to be problems with today's glitch so make sure you have got the avenger and it's all said and go now video three you need to make sure you've got an elegy retro custom with custom plates that's more important you've got that and video four you need to make sure that you've got an oppressor Oh, and insurgent pickup. It doesn't matter what you use, oppressor or an insurgent pickup. It doesn't matter, just as long as it can enter the Avenger. The Avenger. Now, once you've got all that said and done, you want to make sure you park the Avenger just close to the facility as possible, just like I have right in the video. You want to get on the oppressor, and you want to go in the facility. You've got the full alert screen. You probably don't want to press the Xbox button to get rid of the alert screen. Press open the interaction menu and you want to head over to the Avenger. Now you want to park the, the oppressor close to the facility as possible to the Avenger so you can get the full alert screen and right on the D-pad. Now you want to press, once you do get the facility full alert, you want to press the Xbox button to get rid of that alert screen. Now you want to wait at this right at the D-pad screen for nine seconds now it's more important that you do count to nine seconds once you've done that you want to press right on the d-pad and you should receive a facility full alert screen once you've done that accept it and the vehicle should disappear and you should need to make sure that you do exit the avenger now once you've done that you want to make sure that once you have entered exited the avenger you want to open the interaction menu and take the easy way out now that is more important that you do that once you've done that we're all said and go 
So what you want to do is call out call the mechanic up. That is more important. You do make sure that you call out the mechanic and you want to re request a vehicle that you want to dupe. Now I do recommend using an LG Retro Custom because that does actually pay the most money out of any vehicle in the game. So you want to do make sure that you do select a vehicle that you want to use. It could use any vehicle as you want. So any Benny's vehicles as long as it's under 50k at purchase. So like a Sultan RS. But it's more important that you do actually use the Elegy Retro Custom because it does actually pay the most money out. Now you want to make sure. Now we need to make sure that we can actually block the door off. Now what you want to do is block both doors off that we can actually teleport inside the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this insurgent pickup to block the other side door off of the Elegy Retro Custom right there. So what I'm going to do is simply just block the door off of the, of the basically Elegy Retro Custom right here. Once you've done that, exit of the vehicle. And you want to make sure that you can actually test it to make sure you can actually teleport outside of... Just keep teleporting and out of the LG Retro Custom. Now once you've done that, you want to open the interaction menu up. And you should stay at the return vehicle to storage. And you want to press Y and A at the same time. So what will happen is you'll press Y to get in and then A to accept. And what should happen is you should get, receive the return of the vehicle to storage inside of the Elegy Retro Custom. So if you don't know what that is, you want to open the interaction menu up and press A and Y at the return the vehicle to storage menu. At the same time pressing A and Y and the interaction menu should close and then you should receive the notification will disappear. And we're all good to go. So you want to enter the uh, the facility. And you want to accept the garage full alert screen. And you want to replace over the vehicle that you don't care about. So I've got some LG RH8 in there. So just replace the retro custom with the LG RH8. Now you want to do is exit the facility. Now once you've done that we're all set and go to get an oppressor. And you want to go to the facility, get the full alert screen again, press the Xbox button to get rid of that alert, and then go over to the Avenger. Now once you've done that, all you simply want to do is get the garage full alert screen again, press the Xbox button to get rid of the alert, and wait at the screen for 9 seconds or more. Once you've done that, press right on the D-pad and whilst you're going in the Avenger, you should receive a facility full alert screen. Now you want to accept this screen and the vehicle should disappear and we're all good to go. So you want to do is exit the Avenger. Now once you exit to the Avenger, all you simply want to do is take the easy way out. Now once you have exited and you have basically tilt the easy way out you want to call the mechanic to call up an elegy rh8 or any vehicle that you do decide to want to dupe it doesn't matter what you use just as long as it's 50k under 50k at purchase so as i previously said you want to use an elegy retro custom because that's more important because that pays the most money in the game so once you've got the Elegy Retro Custom, as again, you want to block the doors off the vehicle. So you just want to teleport in and out of the vehicle at the same time. So that's more important to block the doors off so you can teleport in and out. So once you've done that, all you simply want to do is open the interaction menu up, go to the return vehicle to storage menu, and then press A and Y at the same time. So you'll enter the vehicle and then press A at the same time. Just test it out by going to return the vehicle to storage. And if it says return vehicle to storage, leave it as that. And then go to the facility, accept the alert screen. And then you'll be brought inside of the facility where you need to swap a vehicle 
that you don't really care about. So, as I previously said, I'm going to be using the LG RH8 just because that is something that we tend to use or tend to replace over just because we don't really want to replace over a vehicle that we do really care about. So make sure that you do decide to use a vehicle that you don't really typically want to use anymore. So like I am, I don't plan to use an LG RH8 as a replace over that vehicle. Now all you want to do is exit the facility to be able to continue on with today's glitch. Now once you've done that, get the oppressor, do the same trick, go into the, the facility, get the facility a full alert, or basically press the dashboard to actually get rid of the alert screen, go to the Avenger once again, get the alert screen once again, press the dashboard button again to get rid of the alert screen, you want to wait here for 9 seconds or so, press right on the d-pad you will get the facility full alert once again while going into the facility press a and then you will enter the facility and then just press a to exit out of the facility and then take the easy way out now at any point you do enter the facility or the avenger or you get stuck on the black screen you need to do it all over again now once you have got the elegy retro custom or the vehicle you decide to dupe over you want to again block the doors off at the same at the exact same time so you want to block the doors off then what you want to do is open the interaction menu go to the to the menu where it says return vehicle to storage press a and y at the same time and then you want to check it to make sure that it does say return vehicle to storage whilst inside of the vehicle and then once you've done that all you simply want to do is go to the facility and then press A to set the garage full alert screen and then you'll be brought to the garage menu where you need to swap the vehicles. Now once you do receive it, all you need to do is simply replace over a vehicle that you don't really care about. As I previously said, you can actually use LG rh8 in today's video it's probably best to use them vehicles because then you'll be able to replace over them and then we're all good to go now once you are finished with this glitch all you simply want to do is change your outfit a couple of times to make sure you do receive the saving symbol at the bottom of the screen now you will see that in a couple of minutes that what you want is the orange loading screen at the bottom of the screen. Once you've done that, once you've got that, all you simply want to do is exit GTA 5. Now it's more important that you do exit GTA 5 and load it back up again. Because if you don't and it exits out of it, your vehicle will be bricked. And as you can see, I've just restarted my game, started back up again, took one of my dupes out. And as you can see, my vehicle did not brick but if you don't do that simple trick your vehicle will be bricked and that's more important you do save it and exit and actually exit out the game otherwise you will get a vehicle bricked that's more important that you do that simple trick at the very end now i do apologize if this if i slightly rush this vehicle get yeah, this video I try my best to actually get as much information out as possible so you guys can hit today's glitch. Now if you do obviously have any problems, I will of course make an dedicated video again about today's glitch. If it does decide to work because oh no, we all know what Rockstar games are like, they will probably patch it no matter what the next coming of days. So make sure that you do actually get onto this glitch and if it is still working a couple of next couple of days and you still have any problems i will obviously make a better video than today's video but don't forget guys to smash that like button subscribe if you're brand new hit the bell next to me so you don't miss out on any awesome content just like this here in my channel but thank you very much guys for watching take care i'll see you in the next one bye